What's going on, right? This Afro Think Tank. So this is my ginger. This is my ginger farm, right? Y'all remember? If y'all remember from my other video, I was setting this up for ginger farm. The ginger. I promise you, the ginger is here, but the season is down. The ginger is in the ground, but the plants themselves, they are. They, they're. You know, it's dry. They're not. They're not there. So you can't really see too much here. I still got this. I'm glad I bought this sand before the price went up because the damn sand is like three times the price here in Nigeria. All because of you know. That guy, you know, you know that guy, the you know, new boo. Uh, yeah, yeah he, he the reason why I got paid three times the price, huh? But other than that, you know, this one here, I can't. Re I don't want to grow any cassava, anything like here, because the goats will eat it. I don't want to grow any any yams, and I don't want to grow anything here that I know the yams gonna eat. But I know the yams don't eat ginger. That's why I was using it. That's why I was growing ginger in this area. I do have peppers, but the peppers is dry because it's a dry season. There, we already harvest the we we harvest the ginger. And we harvested pepper last time and sold that off. We ate that. Uh, so I just got to wait for the rainy season to come back for this this land here to, to develop. But the good thing is the ginger and the peppers are perennials, meaning they just come back. You plant them once, they come back every year. I don't have to worry about replanting this place. So eventually all my food will come back and then I can harvest this and I can sell it. I still got them. I still, I still haven't made a wall. I do want to demarcate it. But if you notice, there's a, there's a road right here. This is actually... Some of that's mine too, but I'm not, I can't do nothing with it because it's a road. But I do own this portion of the road that you see here between my land. But you know, I'd be an asshole. I'd be a real asshole if I decide to put my wall right here and then just stop people from walking over. I'd be a real colonizing asshole if I did some shit like that. So I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm just gonna let this road be. But yeah, this is my ginger farm. It's just sitting here doing this thing, being natural. Everything organic. I don't, you know. I may have I got I may have to find a way to use some limited to be honest use some limited uh, chemicals but I'm gonna be very careful with that because I don't I like all my stuff to be organic I don't care how difficult it is is worth it to just keep things organic and the great thing about Nigeria is all the vegetables and fruits that you grow is gonna be organic you don't have to worry about growing things that don't grow grow again you don't have to about growing fruits and vegetables that don't got seeds everything got seeds guaranteed you know Anyway, that's all I want to say for now, guys. Afro Think Tank, learn some, teach some. I'm out.